Good evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television, first the headlines. His Highness Sayyid Haytham bin Tariq Al Said confirms that approving Gulf cultural strategy comes to achieve desired cultural renaissance and to inaugurate the new phase of Gulf cultural work. The Ministry of Interior completes its preparations to conduct the Shura Council membership elections for the ninth term. And Turkey's Defense Ministry says that the Turkish forces have taken control of the Syrian border town of Ras Al Ain. Those were the headlines, now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos sent a cable of condolences to His Excellency President Ismail Omar Jila of Djibouti on the death of his brother Saad Omar Jila. His Highness Sayyid Haytham bin Tariq Al Said, Minister of Heritage and Culture, confirmed that the approval of culture ministries of the GCC countries for its cultural strategy came to achieve the desired cultural renaissance and to inaugurate the new phase of the Gulf cultural work for better future for countries and people of the region. In a statement to Oman News Agency and the Sultanate of Oman Television, his Highness pointed out that the new strategy, which will be implemented starting next year, came as a result of a reformulation of the past cultural strategies, which was approved by their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC countries in 2018, according to the developments of the Gulf society's culture and economic and technological changes during the past 10 years. And on approving Muscat as a permanent center of interest for Arabic translation and Arabization, His Highness confirmed that the center will be an additional cultural brick incubated in Muscat and will form a real addition to Gulf and Arab institutions in serving the Arabic language. His Highness added that the budget of establishing and operating the center was approved and the bodies concerned will carry on with the preparations of its establishment soon. The 23rd meeting of the Ministers of Culture in GCC countries, which was hosted by the Sultanate on Thursday, approved the Joint Cultural Strategy 2020-2030. The Ministry of Interior completed its preparations to conduct Shura Council membership elections for the ninth term due to be held on the 27th of October. These preparations included the implementation of remote voting for the first time for Omani voters who are outside the Sultanate, which is due to be held on the 19th of October. According to Oman News Agency, the Ministry of Interior stressed that all election committees in the 61 wilayas of the Sultanate, including organization and voting committees in addition to technical support teams, are ready to implement the election process in a streamlined way and the election atmosphere that achieves success and targeted goals for this process. Turkey's defense ministry said today that Turkish forces have taken control of the Syrian border town of Ras Al Ain, which has been a focus of its operation against Kurdish militants. But an official of the Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces said that Ras Al Ain is still resisting and clashes are ongoing. The Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights also reported that the town had yet to be completely taken. Ras Al Ain and Tel Abyad have been the primary focus of Turkey's offensive launched on Wednesday against the Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces.
Russian President Vladimir Putin said foreign military forces present illegally inside Syrian territory should leave the country. In the interview prior to his visit to Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates, Putin said that the Russian army would withdraw from Syria if its government decides so. Putin said if a future legitimate Syrian government says that they won't need the presence of the Russian army anymore, it will apply for the Russian Federation as well. Prior to his visit to Saudi Arabia on October 14th and the United Arab Emirates on the 15th, Putin emphasized the importance of bilateral relations with both countries. Syria must be freed from foreign military presence by Putin. The Japan Meteorologic Agency said a powerful typhoon that is forecast to be the worst to hit Japan in six decades has reached Kawasaki, a western part of Greater Tokyo. The agency said that the typhoon Hagibis was advancing northwestward with a maximum sustained winds of 144 kilometers per hour, traveling northward at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. The storm had brought heavy rainfall in wide areas of Japan all day ahead of its landfall this evening and continued to batter the capital with heavy winds and torrents of rain. Streets, beaches and train stations remain deserted today. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 5.7 shook the areas drenched by the rainfall shortly before the typhoon made landfall in Shizuka the quake was centered in the ocean of the coast of Chipa near Tokyo. China and the United States concluded their latest round of high-level economic and trade consultations in Washington, D.C. under the guidance of the consensus reached by China's President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Donald Trump. The two negotiation teams conducted candid, efficient, and constructive discussions on economic and trade issues of mutual concern and made substantial progress in areas including agriculture, intellectual property rights protection, exchange rates, financial services, trade cooperation, technology transfers, and dispute settlement. The two sides also discussed arrangement for future talks. Kristalina Georgieva, the new managing director of the International Monetary Fund, said earlier this week that the trade tension are taking a toll on global growth. She estimated that the cumulative effect of the trade conflicts could mean a loss of around 700 billion US dollars for the global economy by next year. Still to come on News Bulletin. One West Bank factory recycles cellulose rich palm fronds into paper. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. A report issued by Central Bank of Oman pointed out that the financing by Islamic banks reached around 3.7 billion Omani rials. The report said that the total deposits at Islamic banks and windows reached 3.4 billion rials in July this year, with an increase by 300 million Omani rials compared to the same period last year. In a reflection to these developments, the total assets of all banks amounted to 4.7 million Omani rials as to increase its share from the assets of the banking sector to more than 13%.
coinciding with the World Celebration of the World Tourism Day, Sciences Forum for Colleges and Universities in the Governorate of Buremi, which focus mainly on tourism. A number of public and private bodies took part in the events. It included an exhibition on craft industries, displaying some products of producing families in the governorate. Some lectures were also delivered that dealt with issues related to ways and policies for the development of the tourism sector. Palestinians working in palm tree farms in the West Bank city of Jericho are forced to inhale the ashes of burning palm fronds every day, but one recycling factory is working to eliminate this health risk. Farmers burn most of the palm fronds on their farm to keep it clean, but sends part of its nearby paper pal factory for recycling. The factory established in 2018 is collecting nearly 35% of the total amount of palm fronds left out by the farmers in the city. The Japanese government offered more than 384,000 US dollars to fund the factory, which produces high quality and eco-friendly toilet paper from palm fronds. The date business supports nearly 4,500 Palestinians and the Jordan Valley region, of whom 1,500 are women. Palm farms stretch over the area of more than 5,000 acres in Jerishu and the Jordan Valley, with a production reaching 10,000 tons per year. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's news bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Highness Sayyid Haytham bin Tariq Al Said confirms that the approving Gulf cultural strategy comes to achieve desired cultural renaissance and to inaugurate the new phase of Gulf cultural work. The Ministry of Interior completes its preparations to conduct the Shura Council membership elections for the ninth term. And Turkey's Defense Ministry says that the Turkish forces have taken control of the Syrian border town of Ras Al Ain. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. Thank you for watching and have a good night.